Hello and welcome to my 22 week update. Um, thankfully, I don't have much new to report other than we broke out of quarantine. Um, so my last video, I talked about our son uh, ended up getting diagnosed uh, positive with COVID through a school outbreak. Um, I was able to quarantine safely, um, never ended up getting COVID, neither did my husband. Um, and we actually got our first doses of the vaccine uh, as well last week. So pretty exciting. Um, I know it's kind of controversial um, because there's not a lot of research done on pregnancy and the vaccine, but I spoke with my doctor. Um, my entire clinical support team was very, very um, supportive of me getting it. So um, I figured that feeling of anxiety that I had uh, when we found out that he even potentially had COVID um, really made sense for us to, to get vaccinated and that, that the risks of COVID itself were way more intense um, than the unknown risks of, of getting the vaccine. So I felt okay the next day. I got it done on a Friday, uh, actually, of a friend um, that's a pharmacist that had an extra dose that would have gone to, to waste. And she called me and said, hey, can you get here in a few minutes? And I could. Uh, so I was able to get it. I got it in my right arm. Um, which I probably would have done differently only because um, I use I'm right-handed but I sleep on my left side for the baby um, for the babies because if you lay on your back when you're pregnant sometimes the weight of your uterus and the babies can put pressure on um, an artery so um, we thought maybe I'd be more comfortable sleeping on my left side um, and having the, the pain on my right and it was painful I mean I couldn't lift my arm the next day or the following day I uh, felt a little wimpy just like being taken out so much from a, a shot, but um, really it, it, it hurt. My arm was pretty sore, very similar to the pain that you get from a flu shot, but more intense and lasted longer. Um, and I'd say Saturday and Sunday, Saturday I felt really tired, really lethargic, but that could have just been pregnancy um, and the fact that I was still isolating. So I was by myself in the guest room still. Um, you know, not seeing my family all the time. And I think that just kind of was starting to take a toll as well. So I don't know how much of it was the shot and how much of it was just me not, not feeling myself. Um, but by Monday, um, we got an email over the weekend that our son could go back to school, that we were done with quarantine. So we had a total of 10 days uh, quarantined and um, he got, was able to go back. We were able to work our normal <laughs> days again um and hug each other and it just was so nice to be able to break out of out of quarantine um and then on wednesday yesterday i had my 22 week ultrasound um, went to a new location my uh, mfm maternal fetal medicine doctor actually does the scan reviews uh, at a different hospital system so i was able to um, hop in and get that done um had a quick meeting with him, checked in, everything was fine, babies were growing really well, um, talked a little bit about a birth plan, which sounds kind of weird. If we make it to 32 to 34 weeks, he joked and said, if you look at me funny, we'll send you in for a C-section. Um, but 34 to 36 weeks, he said he would just be really happy. Um, we will set a date um, around that 36 week mark, just to make sure um, we have something on the calendar. And then, um, we will, you know, just kind of monitor from there.